Hi, I'm Corinne Spice Spring Sauce. And I am Logram. And this is a Caramel Carolina Reaper. I'll talk a little more about that in a moment. But first of all, Lord Grimm here was involved in the giveaway right at the start, when he first joined the channel, when we first started videoing, because his name sounds like it has something to do with the Carolina Reaper. It actually doesn't, but I figured it would be a fun way to try and get people interested in the channel to give away some Carolina Reaper seeds, world record chili, to anyone who could tell me where his username and theme music come from. In all the year and a bit that we've been up though, no one has actually guessed, so I'm going to replay his theme music in just a second and see if anybody does. Whoever does will get seeds not just from the Carolina Reaper, but from this Carolina Reaper, the caramel version. Brand new, only recently released by Smoking Ed Curry, and never grown by anyone else outside of the States, or even outside of Pucker Butt Pepper Company before. So, we'll show you what it's like in just a moment, but now, here's his theme music. Sorry, but as in, uh, I'm not sure I should be doing this, but... Well, is you did agree to it. Isn't this going to kill me? Hey, we're going to DC it. It'll be fine. Ish. So, grab yourself some gloves, Alex. I'm sorry. Grab yourself some gloves. Fine. I'll grab myself my knife, and we'll cut into this. And so that you can have the seeds, and also maybe so that it doesn't kill Alex quite as much, I'm going to have to DC this one. Also, Alex, you can pick which side you want, but I'm assuming you're going to want the slightly smaller one. I want where I thought it was the center. <laughs> oh, before we do that, though, quick look. Can you zoom in on that, please, cameraman? Just see how yellow compared to the chili that placenta is. Outside is like that. Inside is like that. You got that on camera now? Yeah, all done. In which case, if we can zoom back out to see us, I will deceive this pepper. And for anyone who really, really cares out there, this pepper has been pollinated openly, it's not been isolated from my other peppers, but at the same time, this was the very first pepper I got before any of the other plants had flowered, so there is basically no chance of it having been cross-pollinated, especially as it's indoors where no bees or anything are going to have got to it. It's not going to be getting pollen from elsewhere. Anyway, that's the seeds removed, and I will take good care of them after the video. But for now, we're going to try this. So, start with a tip, just try a little bit, see if you make the flavour, and then work your way up towards where it's hottest. So the tip being there and the top being there? Yes. The tip and the top. It smells strong, oh my god. The smell in it is like, it oozes of like, chilli smell. Yeah, it smells like super hot chinense, doesn't it? Yeah. And it looks a lot like a red chilli on camera. I would like to point out that this one's right into the extra on the plant. Back when I first invited Alex to this video, it was a bit more of a sort of orangey browny colour. But caramel ones do eventually ripen to sort of ready brownie if you leave them long enough. And it took us a little while to get a date together. Mm. Nice texture. Not too bad so far, but it definitely tastes like Carolina Reaper. So I'm worried for where it's going to go. And actually, it feels like it's just about starting now. Yeah, my, my feeling is that soon as well. I must say that the Carolina Reaper taste is quite nice. It's not bad. Mm. No, no, not the nicest chili taste, but... Yeah, it's not a little floral for me, oh, but... It's growing now. Otherwise, pretty good. It's a lot better than the other Carolina Reaper I had, anyway. My lips are burning already. So now that it's starting to grow in, can you bring in the bucket, just in case we need it? There we go, and I'll just keep that between my legs, so that it's at the ready. My lips are, like, absolutely burning right now. 
It's not hit my lips, but my throat's definitely feeling warm. So it's better by my lips still, yeah. But I was eating it. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Ooh. You see, I'm taking tiny nibbles. That's uh, because I'm a little scared after the last reaper. No, no, I remember. You just puked yeah. everywhere after eating it. Um, did you, did you use like butt after it as well? It was as well. Yeah, I took it quite quick, that one. Yeah, and you just like went, and it Ugh. wasn't until the very end with all the seeds that it was a problem. <laughs> this one, we don't have the seeds in, so it might be a bit better. Even so, I mean, I'm being careful this one. But, even so, by the way, I would like it if you eat as much as you can, but if at any point you feel like you really have to chicken out, that is fine. It will do. And, it's half an hour. Oh god! That <coughs> suddenly hit my throat. Uh oh. Ah. Out of my mouth is watering like mad. <laughs> Already. And it's definitely like I've eaten the ghost, but more so. Well, there's some there for if you need it. Is it last time? I'm gonna pour myself some. Should you? This is not quite our usual brand, but it's still a mango lassi. Should still taste just as fantastic. Yeah. Barely eating any still. I'm taking this slow as well. It's a slightly more tangy lassie. Implies <laughs> mm. more yogurt, less milk, and more fresh fruit as well. Mm. Cool. <sighs> Further up this I go, the hotter it's getting. I don't really want to throw up again. <laughs> How far have you got? About third. You're doing, you're doing pretty well then. Uh, I think I'm taking, so I'm taking it quite carefully. I think it's hitting you about that place already, so. Yeah. It's not hitting you the throat yet. I'm chewing as best I can as well because I know it's going to hit my stomach. And I can't, my stomach hard. The more I suffer up top, the less I'm going to suffer down below. Oh really? Is that what it was? To an extent. So wait, so, so if you just start uh, chewing and just swallow it, what happens then? Then like half an hour later, you're going to be in absolute stomach cramp agony. Oh. Have you been doing that? No. Good. Well, as in, I've been, as in, I, I've had a few bits where I've like, chewed it a little bit, I don't know, but... You're going to suffer a bit, but we'll get you some bread and stuff and everything we can to help you. So this bread, just like carbohydrates, like a bit of help. Especially absorbent carbohydrates. Yeah. If you're suffering at any point in the stomach, carbohydrates, dairy, cool. maybe a bit of banana. <laughs> banana. Yeah, banana's really good. Mm. Not so much for the mouth, but for the stomach. Uh, I've not eaten any more in a while, and it's still hitting me. Really hard. I mean, worse than some of the extras I've had. Definitely. I just really think. Say we just eaten it. You wouldn't know. That means we don't have the awful texture of our disease. Yeah, so there's definitely, there's definitely overpowered by the lassie. Yeah. I mean, the lassie helps a bit, but it doesn't even kill it while it's in your mouth. Alright, it's going to the, it's going to the bad part now. It's a relatively nice pepper. It's not as nice as the red reaper, I think, but then again, the red reaper fresh wasn't very good. I'm far better in things. I'm gonna keep going. But I might need to spit into this bucket just to clear my mouth all the saliva. Does mean I'm gonna get a little less of the heat because obviously we're gonna span out hot saliva, but I'm still gonna get a fair bit of it lingering. Uh, oh dear. 
getting puppy now. <laughs> That's not a good sign. Too much perfect and more than just air comes up. Yeah. How long have you eaten now then? Well then probably not quite half of mine, maybe like two fifths. My hands are tingling. So am I. See, I'm halfway through my lassie. Yeah. I'm gonna take a big bite now. Not, I mean, big bite comparison. Not huge, huge. Just like a good sort of quarter of what I had left. Let's see what that does to me. <laughs> I need to. Because I know it'll be worse later if I don't. Oh, well, uh, I reckon you can eat them. Yeah. I want you to eat them, so. vegetable feel in the mouth. Not too much, but a tiny little bit of it that's like this is, it's not a sweet pepper. I know sweet is commonly used to mean mild, but a lot of even hotter peppers have a bit of sweetness to them. This one doesn't really. I definitely think this is hotter than the Red Reaper. It's just that I'm taking it a bit more sensibly. So I'm not showing it quite as bad. But I mean, not quite as bad as... Just because I'm not suffering quite as much as I was with the Red Reaper doesn't mean I'm not suffering a ton. And... Um, we you see it in this, we're having less of the time. We're really taking it slow. And I'm still... Oh God! My throat is... It feels like it's been gashed now. <laughs> Ah, ah! It came on suddenly, and from nowhere as well. I'm not eating any a little bit. Wow, you eat most of yours. I might stop there for we'll see. Fair enough. Well, if you are going to, just show them what you got left. We'll see. If it stays as it is now, or if it, if it, if it goes down a little. Like oh, oh, oh god, that has a bit of tang, that end bit. Now that I've got up here to stay, I'm like, <coughs> uh, uh. <laughs> oh. oh god. <coughs> oh god, no, stay down, stay down. Uh. You just see, you see a mango latte mess get really good still. Uh, I'm gonna check it out now. I've got that much left, and it's going to the bucket. I am not eating that. I have that much left. Go and look it. So, oh, my by the time I checked it out, there was more of that left than there was for the Red Reaper. And I only started with half of it, and we dc did it. And I'm still on the edge of what went into this bucket. I'm a bit less, my mind's fuzzy, my things tingling, and mouth pain. Yeah. yeah. So just to clarify the heritage of this, this comes from a friend of mine online. I'm not gonna name him, just for legal reasons. Because he might get in trouble if I do. He sent me seeds, which came from Puckabut, directly. He grew what he thought were regular reapers, and a caramel version came out. We don't know for sure whether it's the same caramel reaper that Smoking Head has been re releasing recently. We don't know if it's the same one that showed from Hot Ones. 
but we do know that it is brutally hot. It is definitely hotter than the Red Reaper. And it definitely is one of Smoking Ed's own peppers. So to any of you who get the seeds for this, enjoy. You're going to suffer. <laughs> you're going to hate yourself as much as we do right now. But you're going to have a lot of fun growing it. Check me out online. I'll leave a link to my blog down in the description below. And if I can sort out things behind the scenes, I might even start selling the seeds soon. Lots more of these have ripened. Thanks for watching, and tune in next time when we're going to be slightly less in pain, but only slightly. Before we finally end this video, though, what would you say flavor wise for that? Flavor wise, uh, I'd say initially when we had the first bite, all the spicy too. Uh, yeah, seven actually. It's really nice. I enjoy it. Yeah. Up to the spicy too. Quite the pleasant. Towards noticeable. Towards the bottom, towards the top, getting more floral, more of a bitter, almost chemical tang. Yeah. The, 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 the strong placental bit was not nice. I, you got a bit of something on your lip, I'm not sure if it's that or not. Upper lip. No, it's lassie, right? That's fine. Uh, it's lassie. <laughs> and my lassie. stomach started to hate me. So I'm going to make it there. Thanks for watching. Bye. See ya.